welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Odermatt and today we are going to look at the Flying Russian. At least that's the name I know it under. If you have another name, leave it in the comments below. I'm interested to hear if you have a different name for it. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It does help a lot. Give a thumb up. If you have any questions or feedback, just leave a comment below. I'm happy to hear from you. If you want to have a little bit more individualized personal coaching, go and check out my Patreon. But let's start now. So the entrance for this move is similar to the Russian, like to the Russian split. So you have your hands not directly to the strop. So you have maybe one o'clock or 11 o'clock. This is depending on your grip strength and on your body size. You at least want to get your feet through and your hip. So this you have to adapt according to you, but maybe 11 and one o'clock you are going through and you are coming to your knees. And then from there you do the same thing, you have to go through with your legs. There is lots of different entrants for this, but this we will take another time. There is tutorials about the Russian split, which I have been posting previous, and there you can pick another entrance. But right now we are doing the most simple one. So you are going through on your knees, on your feet, and then you go through with one leg. Let me show it to you. So I will do it sidewards, a little bit backwards to you, so you see it best. So getting your legs through, and placing one knee on the bar and then you can place your feet like this now you have to choose which leg is going to be the leg which is in the front and that leg you are taking through the hoop and going to the outside not like in the russian backwards but you're going to the outside of your arm and you're placing it onto your arm and you're pushing the other leg backwards and straightening the front leg To come out, you can bend it, look at your leg again, place your leg back and then either you continue from there or you slide down into a cradle. Attempting this move, make sure you have someone holding you or supporting you in the beginning because it is really uh, demanding a good grip, especially also coming back because you are pushing the, your bottom foot into the hoop. The opposite leg is pushing on your arm, so really using a good grip because you're pushing the hoop back. Open your fingers a little bit. So when you come back, you, you need to hang your leg back in and then you feel that you have less grip. So make sure you have a proper grip. When you place your knee on your shoulder, try to get it as high as possible on your shoulder. And then when you straighten it, it also you push into your shoulder to straighten the knee, it helps like, it's like holding it and then straightening it. So you kind of do that action. When you are there in the position, you have your leg pushing, you try to straighten both legs, you push your leg back, make sure you open your chest. So you try to look a little bit up and push your chest through. This is also important. So you, you kind of roll them and push against the leg, which is on your arm, which side you even have been choosing. So this is another important thing which you should think about. When you come out, fold back in together. So look at your leg, which is standing on the hoop. Then you have to release that leg and put it into the, into the hoop again. So make sure the first time you really have someone there for it. And then you can slide down into cradle or continue however you want. But it's a nice move. I really hope you have fun with it and tag me with your try of it. I'm on Instagram, Karin Odermatt Coach. And yeah, thank you so much for being here, watching the tutorials and for all your feedback I'm getting. And yeah, see you next week for a new tutorial. Bye.